Sam here from Sheridan Computers. I've not done any videos for a while. I am back. Um, I've been off getting married and things, so I've been pretty busy in real life sorting that out. Um, so we're on to the next video, and in this video, I want to take a look at uh, redirecting DNS requests using PFSense. Um, reasons for doing this are we have um, internal services such as our Bitwarden server, for example, which doesn't resolve externally, but it does resolve internally. Now, if someone was to change the DNS servers on one of the computers, they wouldn't be able to resolve it. Also, if you're doing um, DNS filtering, for example, um, RPF sense box does the res handles all the resolution, but it goes off and uh, queries uh, Cisco Umbrella DNS servers, and we do DNS filtering that way. So if somebody was to change the DNS server settings to Google, for example, then it'd get around all the restrictions that we put in place. So that's one of the reasons that I wanted to um, address this. I have been asked a few times how you do it using PFSense, and it's very, very simple. Um, so I'm going to head in and go through how to do that. Before I do, if you'd like to hire us, head over to our website, sheridan.co.uk. If you click on the Hire Us button, fill out the form, you leave some details on what you're looking for, uh, and I'll get back to you on whether we're able to help you or not. Um, if you find this video useful, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you will receive no notifications of any new videos as they are released. With that out of the way, let's jump in and uh, take a look how to do this. Okay, so we're logged into our PFSense box. Um, now, to show an example of what I mean, if we do a NS lookup. Um, I do server a a a a and set it to Google. And if I do bitwarden.sheridan.co.uk, it won't resolve. So bitwarden.sheridan.co.uk is um, basically just an internal address that points to, um, to our Bitwarden server. So as you can see, bypassing the DNS, obviously we can't resolve it because it's now using Google's DNS servers. So let's uh, go ahead clear that and set up our forwarding room. So the first thing we need to do is go into firewall and go into the NAT settings. Um, so we need to go do, from the port forwarding tab, we need to add a new rule. So go ahead and select add. Um, and we want to listen on the LAN interface because we're going to be listening to uh, any DNS resolution requests from the LAN. We want to set the protocol to both TCP and UDP, um, as um, DNS uses both. Now, for the destination, we want the LAN address, but we want to select Invert Match. And if we go ahead and select DNS for the uh, port range, so what we're doing here is basically listen for any requests for DNS that are not going to our PFSense address, um, and we want to redirect them back to our PFSense resolver. So if I do 127.0.0.1 for the uh, redirect target IP, and we select DNS for the server, service, sorry. Um, so basically anything, any DNS requests that are not sent directly to PFSense, um, are trying to go to external servers, will simply be redirected back. That's pretty much all you need to change. Um, go ahead and put a description in, so um, redirect DNS, um, and that reflection we can disable. And that's pretty much all that we need to set to do this. Now if we go ahead and save that rule, and apply the changes. Um, now, if we go back in and do NS lookup, and we set the server to Google again. So server 8888. Now at this stage, if I do bitwarden.sheridan.co.uk, it should resolve. Um, okay, it hasn't done for a second. We'll just uh, give it a couple of minutes for the uh, PFSense, bo PFSense box to do the updates and stuff. Okay, so now it's updated. As you can see, um, if we query um, Google for bitwarden.sheridan.co.uk, um, it's resolved to 10.1.10.252, and it's resolved because the DNS has been redirected. It's that simple and straightforward to do. Um, I've been asked a couple of times how to do it, so I just wanted to go through and show you how to do that. Okay. 
I hope you found this video useful. Um, as I say, I've not done a video for a while because um, I got married a couple of weeks ago. So I've been pretty busy um, sorting all that out, but I will be back doing more videos. Um, if you found this useful, please hit the like button and do consider uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, if you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are done. Um, I hope this helps and we'll see you in the next video.